lab doesn't just cover Douglas County, but 20 neighboring counties, including Sarpy. The lab can tell in less than 30 minutes whether the seemingly identical plants are legal hemp or pot. Maybe they wouldn't have, I don't know. When you look they, at them side to side, me, you can't orders. tell the difference. We need to be able to tell the difference between marijuana and hemp. We're a forensic lab. We have to answer that legal question. It took around four months, but the lab can now test to see whether the plant has enough THC to consider it marijuana. The lab used a method from the Drug Enforcement Administration and fit it to work with their lab and state laws. After they honed down the process with experiments, they have it down and are ready to go. They might be busy for a bit. I think initially we might see an increase in our caseload because I'm, I'm assuming some uh, county attorney's offices have been holding back some of their cases for testing. So maybe we'll get a slight influx here at the beginning. This one here is THC. State law says any cannabis plant over 0.3% of THC um, is considered yeah, marijuana. While everything under is hemp. The lab is even kinder to potential defendants. If it's determined to be less than 1% THC, we're going to report it as cannabis inconclusive hemp marijuana. We don't know if it's hemp or if it's marijuana. And we're kind of assuming that most county attorney's offices are not going to be prosecuting cases that are under 1%. Even though you couldn't test for it, most county prosecutors were still proceeding on marijuana cases, including Sarpy County. County attorney Lee Polkov is happy. There's more clarity. You know, there's an idea that the whole system's falling apart. You know, the whole enforcement system's falling apart. I, I don't want the citizens to believe that. And I don't want the potential defendants to believe that either. With hemp legalized federally last year, much of the United States is going through the same process that Nebraska is. But everybody across the country is spending their time trying to figure out how they're going to do it too. While the lab serves 20 counties, they say they're willing to talk to any law enforcement that needs the service. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, for News Now. Thanks, John. I-29 is back open in both directions in Iowa. The stretch between Crescent and Loveland is the latest section to reopen. The Iowa Department of Transportation wants drivers to know that they may come across some lane and exit closures. The Honey Creek exit is still flooded. And a highway in northeast Nebraska is back open tonight. The Department of Transportation reopened Highway 57 south of Stanton sooner than expected. The March flooding caused heavy damage to the, a road and a bridge, so crews had to make emergency repairs. Now, your weather alert first forecast. Well, the clouds started rolling back in earlier in the day, and now we're starting to see more widespread showers and even a line of thunderstorms that are moving closer to the Omaha Metro. And you can see things kind of lighting up here. There's a lot of lightning embedded in these storms right now. Nothing severe and not